In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the core environment. If I render this scene, it looks like this. Currently not very interesting. We only have one directional light, a reflective floor and ball, and two matter objects. First thing I'm going to do is open the render globals. Under the options tab of Mental Core, I'm going to create a core environment. The core environment takes a single texture and then allows you to control it based on each type of environment, such as reflections, final gather. For this example, I'm going to plug in an HDR texture. If it's a linear format, such as EXR or HDR, remember to change the color profile to linear. If we do a render now, we should get something more interesting. You can see we now have a background, as well as the floor and ball reflecting the environment. However, the two matte objects are receiving no light from the environment. To solve this, we could turn on Final Gather, or we can enable the Global Environment Light. The Global Environment Light will generate an ambient light from your environment texture. You can now see our objects are receiving ambient light, however there's no shadowing. To fix this, I'm going to enable Ambient Inclusion. Now we are receiving ambient light from the environment, as well as occlusion for self-shadowing. The environment light plus ambient occlusion can be a great and fast way of lighting a scene. The core environment gives you lots of control over the different types of environment. For instance, I can override the texture on the environment lighting to something else, such as a ramp. There is still one problem with this image. Although the shader for the floor and ball both have glossy reflections, the environment itself is not being blurred. Let's take a look at the shader. Under the Advanced Reflections options, you can see I've turned on Single Environment Sample. This means that, although the reflections are glossy, the environment itself will only do one sample. This allows us to cheat the blurring of the environment texture. To do this, go back to the core environment. Under secondary environment, turn on material based blur. You can see now the environment is being blurred based on the glossiness setting of the shader. We can override this for all shaders by turning off material based blur and setting our own value. We now have extremely glossy environment reflections, without a big hit to render time. Some other options for the core environment allow you to blur your final gather map to reduce artifacts. You can also control your environment for image-based lighting. This is the Mentoro feature that can be found under the Options tab, Image-based lighting.